The process diagram for each facility can be accessed from map overview by clicking platform icon. The selected platform name is displayed in the status bar along with the total number of alarms for that platform. User can navigate between process pages by clicking on tap menu bar or navigation buttons. User also can directly navigate to desired facilities process diagram pages from main menu. For some facilities the process is divided into several categories for ease of access. Each category has its own pages which can be accessed from tab menu bar and navigation buttons. There is a tag search option to navigate and locate the devices in PID pages. The search engine opens and highlights the selected device in the related PID page, or just open device faceplate. There is also dark theme for night shift operators. The PID pages are designed based on high performance HMI philosophy to get better situational awareness and faster response for operators. For critical process signals, a real time trend is shown next to the process symbols. The time range of trend can be changed easily on process diagram. The normal and active state of equipment like open and running signals are shown with light green color, while close and stop signals show with dark gray color. The yellow color is used for maintenance faults and alarms, while the red color is only used for critical alarms and ESD levels to get operator attention. If an active alarm is cleared by itself before is acknowledged by an operator, the blue color with blinking animation is shown. The blinking color animation indicates unacknowledged state for both active and clear alarms, and fixed colors indicate acknowledged state of alarms. For some transmitter, there is option to see second display unit value. The ESD type transmitters are distinguished from process transmitters by a spark icon next to the transmitter value. Clicking on every equipment will open the related faceplate as pop-up. The face plate can be pinned, so they don't close when user changes the page. By holding control key, and click on equipment, the face plate is shown in dock mode. In general face plates are used for acknowledging alarms, sending commands, viewing device fault and status, generating event list and statistical values in a selectable time range, and exporting events or trend as Excel file. For example, the face plate of the selected pump shows the number of times pump is turned on and shut down by ESD system in the selected time range. The event list shows all event of the pump, like user command, running status, and shutdown events. User can save the event list as an Excel file for further analyses. The pump fault and status signals are shown as symbol icon at the top of the face plate with the active state is displayed in orange color. The faceplate of the embedded sensors can be opened directly from the pump faceplate. For the process transmitters, the faceplate is used for acknowledging alarms, changing alarm set points, show statistical values, and display history trend in the selected time range. For further analysis, user can open a dock to see the trend of the transmitter in the wider space with high resolution in any time range. With the ESD transmitter faceplate, user can inhibit the sensor for maintenance purposes and select a time range to see total numbers of shutdowns and events list for both shutdown and inhibit command. The last unacknowledged alarm is always display in status bar to make operator attention. By clicking on the alarm, the system navigates to related page and highlight the equipment which causes the alarm. There is also an option to fast acknowledge alarm if user login with operator role. There is two audible alarm sounds for high and critical priorities alarm. The alarm sounds can be muted by clicking the siren icon next to the alarm number in the status bar 